Welcome to our third video, the one we call Execution or PIF, P-I-F, Prospecting, Initiating Contact, and Follow-up. You know, we've talked about some, some principles and we've talked about some leadership traits, but now this is where you take action. And number one is prospecting, and it is so important. And it's important that that bucket is full and that bucket is fresh always. So you want to start with people you know, that's important. But when you start with people you know, I want you to think, how can this product or this service help them? Not the attitude of who can I sell this to or who can I get? Because that's not an, uh, an attitude of service. Um, you wanna make sure it's something that they could utilize. So everywhere you go is where you want to touch people, connect with people. For example, we went shopping the other day. We do that a lot. I, I do that, I like that. And we were out shopping, connecting with the lady that was helping us, enjoyed her quite a lot, listening the whole time. And then eventually it was natural for us to get to share what it is, the new product and the new company that we're with. So it was easy for me to share that. And she was very excited and we connected, shared information, I got her name and phone number, and then we were able to continue to talk to her afterwards. Booths are another place that you could do in community events. Those are other places that you can prospect, and of course there's social media. Social media is really big right now, but it's a place to get, a, you know, to keep that bucket full and to keep it fresh, but it is not the end all for your business because it's all about connecting, and you don't know if you're connecting with someone, if it's just a, a name on a, on a social media. So. so once you've prospected, now it's time to initiate the contact. So you must be prepared, know your product, know your service, know how it's going to help them, know how this will integrate into their desires and what they need. Um, but listen, you have to listen. Uh, Maria has a, a saying that she says, don't throw up on your audience. That means don't tell them everything in the world. Don't tell them all the ingredients of every product and all the do's and the don'ts. They may not care. They want to know, how is this going to help me? How is this going to make my life better? So be prepared, know the answers, but listen, and then you can share. And I, one thing I always like to say is pretend there is a sign on their head that says, so what? What's in it for me? And when you are visualizing that on someone's head, it'll stop you in your tracks of talking so much and say, you know, that's not real important to her. It's important or him that they speak. And so, you know, just visualize that on their forehead. And that takes us to the third point, which is follow up. And the fruit is in the follow up. So if you do all this prospecting and you're like, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Popular, great, 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 and you, you meet all these people, but you don't follow up, you missed out because the fruit is in the follow-up. You're during that time you're gonna you're gonna share with them, you know, ask them questions. How did you like what we shared? You know, how did you like my product? What did you think about my service? And you're gonna set dates and times to come back to them. So you're if you don't do those steps, then you can't take action with one another. So um, you know, them taking the next step with you. And don't give up because it gets really difficult sometimes. But it's important that you don't give up and it's important that you remember that integrity that we talked about that you stick with with what you started that you stick in, in you follow through on what you're doing in the company that you're with don't keep jumping from company to company and business to business because you're going to lose that integrity you're going to lose that trust with customers that will follow you to other places we've been blessed that we were in the last company for 30 years and starting new it's been such a joy to hear people say, I trust you. So it was easy for them to listen to something new and different that I, that we were doing. And no, I won't be doing something else along with this. You know, it's kind of like cheating on my husband. I wouldn't cheat on my husband. So I wouldn't cheat on the company. They get all of me. So give all of yourself to the company or the business that you choose and stick with it. So make sure it's something you really want to do. You know, obstacles are people are things that you're going to encounter along the way. It's just part of the world. But obstacles are not roadblocks. They're just detours. So understand that it's just an opportunity to take a different direction. Don't give up, like Maria said. So I guess in summary, we should reiterate that 
Our PIF, the things that we think are key and critical to action are prospecting, initiating the contact, and then follow up. And especially don't give up in the follow up. In summary, the three items that, that we think are key in execution are prospecting, initiating the contact, and then following up. And remember, don't give up. And you know with that don't give up, I want to tell you that it is difficult and you'll hit some really low spots. But that's when you need to dig in because success is always right around the corner after that. But most people stop in the failure and never get to the success. So I really want to encourage you to push forward during the tough times. So if we made you stop and think and maybe you've gained a few things that might help you in your current business, mission accomplished. That's terrific. However, if you've now been kind of spurred on and thought, you know what? I think I might want to try something new. I might be wanting to join these people in business. Look, don't be afraid to try something new. You know, one of my favorite columnists, Dave Barry, had a saying. It's like, don't be afraid to try something new. Remember that a lone amateur built the ark. It was a bunch of professionals that built the Titanic. Think about that. Thank you for watching our video series. We look forward to seeing you very soon. We'd like to invite you to our next video where we will show you and talk to you about the opportunity we chose with Monate Global.